Hey everybody, welcome back to this new video uploading here on the channel and thanks for stopping by again. So in this video I have a super cool male outfit together with some cool racing logos. We have a cute bow tie, some race gloves, a biker suit top and you can combine this together with either the black joggers or the black team pants. Whatever that you want, I will show you both options in this video and I'm really excited to show you this one because I absolutely love this outfit for the male character. So I will show you the tutorial, the components will be featured in this video. I will not show you the whole transfer glitch, I have heard some people who have issues with it. But just ask me, just ask me like, how do I do it game time life and I will help you, okay? So just ask me if you have any problems with that. So. Um, I have a video in the link in the description and if you click on that you will go to the transfer glitch video. Now, if you're not familiar with this glitch, I highly suggest you to watch that video. It's basically a step-by-step -step tutorial to do the outfit transfer glitch. So, if you just simply follow all those steps, in the end you will get to the part where you have to do the components. So, I will be showing you basic components in that video, so all you have to do is copy the components from this video. That's how easy it is. And if you copy these components, then you can just go back over to that video to finish a transfer glitch and transfer it all over. It's that easy to do, so that's why I won't be featuring it in the whole video. Okay, so we're going to be starting with the components. If you're ready to do the components, then just copy these that I'm showing you. We're going to be working with two outfit slots, as you can see in the gameplay right here. Outfit slot number one will have the race gloves for the outfit, and two will have the whole merging outfits. It looks a bit complicated, but I will show you how to build this one. Okay, so we're going to be starting off with the very first outfit for the gloves. And this will be on our second female character. Your male character has to be on the first slot. Now, if you have your main male character on the second slot, you can do the double transfer glitch, but just do the first part to transfer first to second. Okay, so for this outfit, we're going over to the top section first. You want to go to the tank tops and put on the black torn short crop tank top. This one right here will activate our racing gloves. So if you got that on, you now want to go to the pants. You want to go to the sports pants and put on the spotted muscle pants, which are the merging pants and will be replaced for our black joggers or the team pants. So then for the shoes, we're going over to the boots and you want to put on the worn chocolate slack boots and these will be the red tron shoes components. And to finish off the outfit and make sure that the race gloves appear, you want to go to accessories, go to gloves and put on the white surgical gloves. So then this will be outfit number one, just save it right there on slot number one. All your outfits will be deleted, so just save it right there. So then we're moving over to slot number two for the second outfit. And for this one, the pants and the shoes stay the same, so I will not feature them again. So we're going back over to the top section. And you first of all want to go to the fitted suit jackets and you want to put on the white boating blazer. Now if you got that on, you now want to go over to the suit jackets and put on the contrast blazer. And as you can see, you now have the white shirt together with that contrast blazer. And then once you got that on together, you want to go to the accessory section. You want to go to the ties and put on the purple diamond tray tie, which will be the red bow tie components. Now once you got that on, you want to return back over to the top section. From here you want to go to the leather jackets and you want to put on the black GC jackets. And this one will be the red biker suit top component. So once you got that jacket on and you got everything all set like this, you want to hold down your touchpad, go to inventory body armor and simply apply the standard body armor. Then we're moving over to accessories, you want to go to gloves and put on the light woodland tactical gloves in order to merge the racing gloves from slot number 1. And then this will be outfit number 2, all you have to do is just save it right underneath the very first gloves outfit. So you should now have these two outfits set there in your outfits list. Now I suggest you to not make more outfits, I suggest you to make like 4 outfits and not more because your account will not load back into online. Like I explained in the previous videos, make sure that you make like four transfer outfits and not more. So once you have all your outfits set, you want to put on the very first outfits. 
and then you simply want to walk outside of the closed door and from now you can transfer them back over. So like I explained in the beginning of the video, you just want to go back into Creator. From there you want to grab your save erased, make a quick test with it. Then you want to go to choose character, delete the second or first character, go back to single player and go back to our online session. That's are the steps in order to transfer. It will also be shown in the video. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. I'm going to be transferring them over and then I'll see you guys back in a second once they are transferred. So once you spawn back in with your Mew character, it's up to you now whether you want to choose the black team pants or you want to choose the black jars in order to merge on your outfits. I will show them both at the end of the video, but the method is just the same. If you want to put on the black jars, just put them on and if you want team pants, just put those on. So for the first one, I will be showing you for the black joggers. So just put on whether you want. So you do not basically have to do anything about it. All you have to do is just simply, um, you know, put those pants on or put those joggers on that you want to merge. And then we can just go straight over and merge this all. So well, first of all, we'll be merging this on the gloves. Then we'll be merging it on the second outfit. So... The transfer glitch did its part so all we're going to be doing is once you got those pants on do not save them just leave them as it is go to options go to online jobs play job rockstar created go to versus and from here you want to start up crooked cop now we're using this job often to like merge the outfits together so just make sure you start up crooked cop now if you're hosting crooked cop make sure you set clothing over to player own it and if you're joining a different player who has started it up, then you just simply want to make sure that he or she has also put clothing over to play your own it. So I'm just quickly going over to Crooked Cop and then I'll see you guys in a second. So as you can see, I joined somebody's Crooked Cop, he or she has put clothing over to play your own it. So just wait for he him or her to like launch up the job. And if you have found a player, you also want to um, launch up the job. Now you want to wait until you're on the screen right here. Then you want to scroll over to own it outfit and let the magic happen. So we're going once to the right. You should see the black joggers with the gloves. Then we're just going once to the right again and everything will be merged on that outfit just like you see here on screen. So all you have to do from this point is hit ready to play and just wait for the job to launch up. Now I forgot to say before going in. You need to have a earpiece or a rebreather bot or else we cannot save this outfit because it has a bow tie and the bow tie might spawn off if you put on a hat or a mask. So that's a little bit tricky. So make sure you either have a um, rebreather or a earpiece in order to save this outfit. So I'm going to be putting that on right now. Open up your interaction menu, go to style accessories and either put on the earpiece or the rebreather. So once you've got that on, you want to put your gun away and simply just pull up the phone and quit Crooked Cop and you're good to go. So once you spawn back in with your male character wearing the outfit, you can now remove the rebreather and just simply save your end result outfit anywhere in your saved outfits list. So as you can see, we still have like a ugly charcoal t-shirt piece right there and I think it has to be gone. So I'm going to be showing you how to be removing that, but first of all, make sure you have the outfit saved and secured right there. So if you got it all save it, then I'm going to be showing you. You want to good put on any of these heist coverall outfits which have the gas mask on it. So this one right here, if you have any of those suits with the gas mask, just simply put them on. Now you want to make your way over to the telescope at your own apartment or the telescope at the beach. And all you have to do is just run past the telescope and simply press right on the d-pad. I will be showing you that right now. So I'm going to be standing here. Run past the telescope and press right on the d-pad and the mask spawns off. Now you want to open up your interaction menu, go to style and just simply apply that outfit and then walk away and you have the gas mask on your outfit. So now we're going to be saving this outfit as it is right there and then after saving it we must trigger a yellow save icon. So I'm going to be saving it real quickly right here as you can see. And then if it's all saved right there, then I'm just going to be exiting my apartments. And if you're aware at the closed door, you can just simply go inside your apartment or just make sure that you trigger a yellow save icon in the bottom right corner. So as you can see, there is a yellow save icon in the bottom right corner. It mostly works if you just reapply that saved outfit, just hit X on it and you should be okay. 
Now that you've got this yellow save icon, all you have to do is make your way over to single player. And once you're in single player, you just want to close down GTA and just start it back up again. And then make your way back over to an invite only session. So once you're back here in an online session, you should see that you're still wearing the gas mask. So all you have to do is hold down your touchpads. You just want to go over to style and then you want to spam that outfit around 10 times. Now that you've spammed it, close down your interaction menu, go to options, go to online, jobs, play job, rockstar created, go to missions and just start up a titan of a job. So now after this, the mask or the um, glitch thing will be removed. So it's a little bit much steps, but it's worth it because it makes it much cooler. So hit confirm settings, then just hit play and just launch up the mission. And then you should see that you spawn in without that thing right there on your chest. So if you got that thing remove it, you can now just simply go ahead and save this outfit. So you can choose to like remove the mask right now. I just decide to do that when I spawn back in an online session. So I'm just going over to my closet right there and I'm just going to be saving it as it is. And then basically we have the outfit all finish it. So now I just want to pull up your phone and quit this mission and just wait until you spawn back in online. So now if you spawn back, just simply apply that outfit that you save it and then you can now just remove that ugly ass mask and then you can, you know, create the outfit the way that you want and just finish off with the accessories that you like on it. And then yeah, this is basically the tutorial on this super cool meal outfit with the logos and everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel of Games on Life. It will be highly appreciated. And turn on post notifications to get informed with the latest uploads here on the channel. And I hope to see you guys back in the next video here on the channel of Games Home Life. Bye everyone!